All right, guys, it's hump day Wednesday. I have a short editorial for this morning. Um, it's an interesting one, but all week I've got some good editorials coming up. Uh, got them looking into the police shooting of a black man, a uh, police officer who's being investigated for sexual offenses. Uh, we've got two Houston police officers that, are, uh, that may be charged for excessive force. So we're looking at some of these for the, throughout the week that we're going to be talking about. A capital rioter is being charged by the FBI. We're going to look at that. So we got some things coming on this week into the weekend. That you don't tune away or you're going to miss some of these editorials. This one here, like I said, is really short, but it's the second cop that was fired for a social media post. I just want to know what you guys think. I know we've discussed this before, but this is the second cop from the same police department. Let's look at it. Thank you to NBCNews.com. A police officer in Fort Worth, Texas was fired over a racially insensitive social media post, the police department said on Monday. The officer, Kelly Kujowski, was fired after an internal affairs investigation found that she was the source of the social media post, which was discovered by another officer February 5th. A police statement did not go into detail about the post, but a police spokesperson was looking into whether more information would be released Monday night. The police department said in the statement, the Fort Worth Police Department holds every officer to a very high standard and any comment, post, or any communication which is racially insensitive and unprofessional will not be condoned in any manner. A listed phone number for Kujowski could not immediately be found Monday night, an emailed message to the Fort Worth Police Officers Association, a union, was not immediately returned. In early February, a different officer, Chadwick Hughes, was fired for having the name Chadwick Hughes. No, that's not it. In early February, a different officer, Chadwick Hughes, was fired for what was described as racially insensitive and inappropriate social media posts, reported by the NBC Dallas Fort Worth. Another officer saw that his postings on January 30 and notified superiors. So do you think there's a cop in the department that's a snitching? Because on January 30th, Chadwick Hughes, his post was seen and then he gets terminated. Now an officer sees Kelly Kujowski's post and she gets fired. Do you think maybe there's somebody maybe in the PIO office or somewhere ratting? We got a rat. I got this rat, this annoying, heating fucking rat. And it brings up questions, you know. But the thing is, here are these officers, two officers, same police department, fired over racially insensitive social media posts. And we discussed it before, we're still discussing it, is this their First Amendment right. Now, if she posted as officer, I'm an officer with the Fort Worth Police Department, I guess I can understand that she's representing the PD, but if she posted as Kelly Kajowski off-duty at home on Facebook, <coughs> then she shouldn't have, I don't, why would she get fired? Some people say, well, they don't have a First Amendment right, but maybe that's on-duty? Because I'm sure she has a right to free speech when she's not at work, I would assume. Oh, there's a lot of questions here. I have searched and I have searched for this social media post that she put. I cannot find it. I think they took it down and they are not. They are hiding it. They are not letting anybody know what she said. They are not releasing what she said. Um, but again, two cops from Fort Worth Police Department who were fired over social media posts, yet here in Antioch, California, this guy that uh, Angelo Quinto, who died in police custody, now the police chief has come out and said, well, they didn't have their knee on his neck. They had their knee on his shoulder blades. And then they were switching positions to hold his legs down while they were thrashing to try to handcuff him, and he went unconscious. There's so many things here. I mean, did the drugs, maybe it was a drug that put him unconscious. Uh, is the police chief lying to cover for his officers? Um, you know, why are the police officers, and they've been cleared. It's been like, you know what, they were... 
uh, the internal investigation cleared them. They said they did their job, and unfortunately, someone died from it. So I don't know. It's okay to kill people, I guess, in, in custody, but if you put social media posts, you're getting fired. I don't know. I just, and, and maybe those officers were doing their job. Maybe it was an unfortunate death. It's just interesting to me how police go out to these mental health crises at homes and the person ends up dead. Daniel Prude, dead. Elijah McClain, dead. I mean, and maybe people say, well, they're doing their job. Do they not know how to arrest someone without killing them? Well, the drugs and every time, like that can't be every single case. Do we have that big of a drug problem in America? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers to include those posted on social media and from coast to coast.